In order to disseminate knowledge, the Institute of Indigenous Medicine has created the research platform. And this is the seventh edition of the International Conference on Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha, and Traditional Medicine. And we are proud to coincidence with the 92nd birth anniversary of the Institute of Indigenous Medicine, and we held the orientation program, so the induction program successfully, the inaugural ceremony of the seventh ICOST 2021. So the first ever virtual conference for this international conference was inaugurated successfully. And today we had certain scientific sessions and we have come to the valedictory session today evening. Creating the international knowledge with emerging health issues, we have conducted this event. We were privileged to the presence of the Vice Chancellor of the University of Colombo, Senior Professor Chandrika and Vijayaratna, and distinguished keynote speakers to address the inaugural session of the seventh international conference on Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha, and traditional medicine. Ladies and gentlemen, with more than 200 participants, nearly 250 participants, local and international delegates, we conducted the seventh ICOST inaugural session. So today, the scientific sessions were conducted by two parallel sessions, morning and evening. There were eight oral and two poster sessions. And the speciality of the seventh international conference on Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha and traditional medicine is none other than the undergraduate or rather the students forum created here to make this research platform an excellent presentation. So ladies and gentlemen, we are privileged with 600 plus participants for these sessions. We have created a good platform for the student to involve the research culture, to involve young researchers for this esteemed platform. Ladies and gentlemen, none other than persuading the young generation to research the Institute of Indigenous Medicine has paved the way to present three oral and three poster awards for the students. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further delay, now let's move to the proceedings of the valedictory session. And to welcome this lovely gathering on a more formal note, ladies and gentlemen, it's my best privilege to invite Dr. S. P. Mollikoda, Head, Department of Study in Ayurveda, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo. Madam, it's over to you. Thank you, Charif. Good evening. Alboan, Assalam Alaikum, Vanakkam, Namaste, all of you. Chief guest of the event, Madam Vice Chancellor, University of Colombo, Senior Professor Chandika Vijay Ratna, Chief Organizer of the event, Madam Director, Institute of Indian Medicine, Senior Professor Priyani Paranagama, Members of the Board of Management, IIM, Vice Chancellor Vikramarachi Indigenous Medicine University, Dr. Sushil Kumar, Indian High Commission Sri Lanka, keynote speakers, Padma Sri Vaidya Rajesh Koteja, Secretary, Ministry of Ayush, Government of India, Professor Anup Thakur, Vice Chancellor, Gujarat Ayurveda University, Director, Institute of Research in Ayurveda, Gujarat, India, Professor Asim Ali Khan, Director, Central Council of Yunani Medicine, Professor N. Kabilan, Head, Siddha Section, MDR Medical University, all the Commissioners of Sri Lanka, Heads of the Units, Administrative Officers of the IIM, all the Professors, Academic Members, IT Staff Members, Non-Academic Members, Presenters, and all the Delegates. Today is a grateful evening. It's a blessing to meet you all virtually, even in the pandemic situation. Thank you all, the, all for your contribution since yesterday in different aspects to make this event a success. I really appreciate your support and guidance, especially Director IIM and the Steering Committee ICOST 2021, which you, you gave throughout the ICOS 2021. Then I welcome you all to the valedictory session of the International Conference on Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani and Traditional Medicine. Please join us. Thank you all.
Thank you very much, Madam. And it was the welcome address by Dr. S. P. Mollegoda, Head Department of Study in Ayurveda, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo. Ladies and gentlemen, the servant I caused will not be a success behind the internet IT team of the Institute of Indigenous Medicine. So a big thank you for the IT members. And ladies and gentlemen, we should specially remind our platinum sponsors, Himalaya Drug Manufacturing Corporation and the IICA. So IICA is one of the entrepreneurs, self-born entrepreneurs of the Institute of Indigenous Medicine. A big thank you for the IT team and platinum sponsors. And to move ahead with the formal proceedings, uh, I would like to invite the chief organizer of 7th International Conference on Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha and Traditional Medicine, the none other than Senior Professor Priyani A. Paranagaman, Director of Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo. Madam. A very good evening to all of you. A warm welcome to you to this valedictory ICOS 2021. Can you hear me? Yes, madam, we can hear you. Yes, madam. Thank you. All keynote speakers from India and Sri Lanka, all the oral presenters, academic staff members from IIM and other universities, delegates from Indian High Commission, Ministry of Indigenous Medicine, representatives from Department of Ayurveda, all the indigenous medical doctors who participated in the conference from different areas and different provinces, administrative staff, non-academic staff, all the participants of the conference, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We have come to the end of the ICOS 2021. Since yesterday till now, you have had deep insight into research finding of Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha and traditional medicine. It is an honor to address you once again at the closing ceremony of ICOS 2021. At the opening session, I said, this conference would provide opportunity to learn new ideas from each other, exchange new ideas among different institutes that could be adapted to improve your research career in different disciplines in indigenous medicine. I know that there have been many interesting and useful presentations given by keynote speakers, plenary speakers, academic staff members from IIM as well as from other institutes and our students undergraduate students. And I believe that experience shared by the eminent uh, speakers, especially the those who are experts in Ayurveda, Yunani and Siddha. So that were very helpful and that experience uh, will be very helpful to all the young researchers they can use them to further develop their research career. So that will be again helpful for these young professionals to uplift the standard of the indigenous medical systems in the country and globally. As you know, indigenous medical system are essential medical system in the modern, modern world now. The purpose of this conference, ICOS 2021, is to serve humanity by endeavoring to achieve the high, higher standard of the indigenous medicine, indigenous medical education, indigenous uh, medical ethics, health, etc. I'm sure 
This conference provides a common platform to young researchers, especially from our, for, especially for our undergraduate students from Ayurveda, Yunani, and Siddha, as they were given the opportunity to network with eminent researchers from other institutes. And also, they also can strengthen the collaborative research activities among other research institutes among Sri Lanka and also other institutes who represent this uh, conference. So this is the first conference that we did in online way. The, even though this is the seventh ICOS, all the other conferences we were able to uh, you know, the organize in the IIM uh, because due to this pandemic situation, we have to organize it in a, uh, you know, the, uh, on, on virtual, as a virtual conference. So, Though the whole world is in stressful situation due to COVID-19, I would like to thank our chief guest of the inaugural ceremony, our vice chancellor, University of Colombo, Professor Chandrika Vijayaratna, for giving us the guidance, encouragement to organize this type of annual conference in the IIM. So it's a big strength to us. We all know the date was decided a uh, few long time ago, like last year, but we faced the pandemic. We didn't want to change the date. We wanted to have this conference using online virtual way. There is a, another reason for that is because at the same time we, Yesterday, we celebrated the 92nd anniversary of the Institute of Indigenous Medicine. So therefore, the organizing committee to, uh, you know, the, took the challenge and uh, make the all the arrangement to organize this conference successfully. And, no, and also, it is my duty to remind the keynote speakers who participated this conference from yesterday afternoon, especially uh, Vaidya Rajesh Koteka, the Secretary, Ministry of Ayush, Government of India. He participated uh, the conference at the, uh, especially at the inaugural session, lively, and made a uh, very useful presentation and giving the, uh, you know, the, giving the message that we have to continue the collaboration with our Ministry of Ayush, Government of India in future as well, and strengthen that collaboration should be done. And also the other keynote speakers, Professor Anup Taka, is the Vice Chancellor of Gujarat Ayurveda University, made a presentation on uh, Ayurveda medical system. It was very useful. Professor Asim Khan, from Yunani Medicine and Professor uh, Kabilan from Siddha Medicine. They were very useful. They made it keynote speeches in the, uh, at the uh, inaugural session. Not only that, there were many keynote speakers who shared the knowledge they gained and the experience they gained and uh, with the disseminate that knowledge among the Participants, there were like more than 250 participants, uh, you know, the joined this webinar and they shared the, uh, they, are, they, are, they shared their experience. So I like to remind them, to thank them, Professor YP Tripathi, Professor Jay Tripathi, Professor Sunita Suman from, they are from Benares Hindu University and also Dr. Sukuma Sadebuk, Adwa Nature Healthcare Maharashtra, and Professor F. S. Sherani, Aliga Muslim University, Professor Shivashankar Rangashami, Nanda C. Siddha Medical College and Research Center, Professor Kalpana Patel, Gujarat Ayurveda University, Jamnagar, 
and Professor Arif Saidi, School of Yunani Medical Education and Research. Professor Sayakhara Javatan, our own colleague from Department of Ayurveda, Institute of Indigenous Medicine. Dr. Mahis from his Department of Yunani, Institute of Indigenous Medicine. Professor Pial Marasinghe, Uwa Province, Department of Ayurveda. And Dr. H.M. Senadira is one of the former commissioner from Central Province. All of them made the keynote speeches and shared the knowledge they gained with the, uh, you know, the other participants. So let me express my sincere admiration for delivering keynote speeches today. My appreciation for all the authors who presented papers and the posters, especially the research student from Institute of Indigenous Medicine. They are the live wire of this conference and get the maximum benefit and will be very useful for development their research career in the future. I have to remind the contribution made by session chairpersons who accepted the invitation and participated, providing an excellent added value to this conference. The reviewers of the abstract who provided necessary expertise and performed excellent work in evaluating papers. Further, I would like to specially thank sectional head, Professor Shifa, Dr. Molligoda, and conference coordinator, Professor Shant Kanti Kulatunga, and conference secretaries, Dr. Danushka Karnarat and Dr. Ishan, and all the academic members in the organizing committee. And special thanks to IT team. Without them, we will not be able to do this webinar and their tireless effort to make this event a success. I sincerely hope this virtual conference provided excellent platform for national and international delegates to discuss and address latest development in the field of, in the field of indigenous medicine and frame strategies for the emerging health issues. At this difficult time, I'm certain all of you find virtual conference is stimulating, rewarding, and meaningful. I hope that you enjoyed the conference. Ladies and gentlemen, you have had a long day today and have actively participated in this conference. I thank again for your active participation and I wish you all the best and look forward to meet you again, ICOS. 2022. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam. It was the Chief Organizer of the Seventh High Coast and Director of the Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo, Senior Professor Priyani E. Parnagama. Quoting Madam's speech, it's really admirable that the linking network established for the young researchers. It's really admirable the research discipline that the Institute of Indigenous Medicine is willing to establish. So with the excellence of the seventh ICOST, we were able to have the honorable membership, honorable participation and the presence privilege of 10 keynote speakers for the scientific session, six from India and four from locally are professors and senior academics here with related to Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha, and traditional medicine. So the speciality, the 92nd coincidence, the anniversary of the IIM and the 7th ICOST is none other than opening the research forums more for students. So ladies and gentlemen, eight oral presentations and two post presentations were conducted and the students were motivated, giving their background to present an international forum to be involved, to present their ideas, experiences, their research strategies to an international program. And it is created by the Institute of Indigenous Medicine. Ladies and gentlemen, for the seventh I caused, rather than my summary, a more formal summary will be delivered to the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, to enlighten this virtual conference, Dr. Danushka Karmaratna, the secretary, I caused 2021. Madam, I cordially invite you to present the summary of the seventh international conference. Okay. 
respected madam senior professor chandika and vijayaratna vice chancellor university of colombo uh, respected madam senior professor priyani paranagama director institute of indigenous medicine university of colombo and respected sir padma shri vaidya rajesh kutecha secretary ministry of ayush india uh, respected sir professor anup thakur in charge gujarat uh, vice chancellor gujarat ayurveda university and respected sir professor azim ali khan director general central council for research in yunani medicine uh, ministry of ayush india respected sir professor in kabilan head department of siddha dr mgr medical university india and respected other keynote speakers uh, from india and sri lanka and heads of the departments uh, of uh, studies in ayurveda and yunani uh, distinguished invite invitees academic staff of iim and other universities faculties and institutes scientific scientific paper presenters and dear students of the iim and other universities ladies and gentlemen it is my great pleasure and privilege as a secretary of sevak international conference on ayurveda yunani siddha and traditional medicine 2021 to make the conference remarks the theme was indigenous knowledge for emerging health issues though this is the sevak international conference Uh, organized by institute of indigenous medicine this is the first virtual international conference in the history of iim the conference was organized to celebrating 92nd foundation day of iim i feel glad the possibility to have a uh, uh, reality that uh, i cast because of this pandemic situation actually thank you very much for the vice chancellor madam and thank you very much for the director madam and all academic and non academic supportive staff especially it staff so uh, we have uh, there was a inauguration session uh, held on 10th june 2021 yesterday at 3 pm to 5 pm more than 250 national and international delegates were there welcome address done by chief organizer senior professor priyani a paranagama director institute of indigenous medicine university of colombo senior professor chandrika and vijay ratna madam vice chancellor university of colombo graced the event as the chief guest uh, chief guest There were four keynote addresses conducted by Padma Shri Vaidya, Rajesh Kotecha Sir, uh, Professor Anup Thakur Sir, and Professor Azim Ali Khan and Professor In Kabilan Sir. So, because of it, this, those eminent personalities, the inauguration session made great and colorful. So, scientific session was held on 11th June, twenty twenty-one. Today. At 9 a.m. to 5:45 p.m., ten parallel sessions were conducted, including eight oral presentation sessions and two poster presentation sessions. There were four student forums, three oral and one poster, which has been shown developing the research culture among the students, especially IIM students. to promote the students research to the conference six students award was select uh, was selected to award three best oral and three poster presentations and also uh, we had that scientific sessions there are 100 uh, more than 125 oral presentations and more than 60 post presentations were conducted during the scientific session morning to evening and more than total 600 participants were participated in the scientific session 
So all the participants will be received their e-abstract book and e-certificate near future. So we'll meet on 8th International Conference of Ayurveda, Yunani, Sita and Traditional Medicine again. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam Dr. Danushka Karunaratna, Secretary of 7th IPOST 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, 600 plus students, two parallel sessions, 10 with eight oral and two poster presentations. There were three Ayurvedic sessions, Ayurveda and traditional sessions, one Yunani and Siddha session. And the speciality is we conducted three student forums, one student poster forums altogether four opportunities for the students. That is the highlighting factor here at the 7th International Conference on Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha and Traditional Medicine, the first ever virtual conference here with the ICOST history. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some winners with us to motivate them further for their research activities and to persuade the young researchers emerging from the Institute of Indigenous Medicine to create the international platform to link the indigenous knowledge to emerging health issues. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite Professor M. S. M. Shifa, the head of the Department of Study in Yunani Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo, to present the names of the winners. Sir, it's over to you. Vice Chancellor of the University of Colombo, Professor Tandirka Vijayaratna, Madam. Madam Director, Professor Priyani Parnagama. Head of the Ayurveda section, Dr. Mandipada. Conference coordinator, organizing secretaries, keynote speakers, chairpersons, co chairpersons, rapporteurs, presenters, students, medical officers, researchers, academic and non academic staff members and delegates, assalamu alaikum, I go on, manakam, and wonderful evening to you all. Though my assignment is not a vote of thanks, let me begin by thanking you all for making this conference a grand success. Without your active participation, we couldn't achieve another milestone in the IAM history. As you know that conducting a conference online is not that easy as we need to face many challenges which may be beyond our control. I am extremely pleased that the ICOS 2021 was well attended by various stakeholders ranging from government officials, policymakers, researchers, academics, medical practitioners, experts and medical students. Already Organized Secretary has provided the excellent summary of the conference. I am sure that we and especially medical students would have learned many new ideas from each other, which we could adapt to further improve our research work in the important in this important area. I know that there were many interesting and useful presentations, both in the plenary session and in the scientific sessions, and many good tech experience have been shared. I was given another task to announce the awardees how these names of the poster presentation as well as oral presentation in the student forum. This awards are given to encourage the students to participate in the research and also to present their research outcomes in the scientific forums. Those who could not get the awards, no need to feel sorry or worry, as this become, became a good experience for you all and you have more chances in the future as well. And all of your presentation was were very wonderful. Even international participants uh, gave many good comments regarding your presentations. And I'm very much sure that evaluators found great difficulties to identify best three papers in oral and poster presentations. So evaluation was done by the well qualified evaluation panel without any having any bias and uh, i'm going to announce the winners first started poster presentation 
third place goes to Ms. M. L. F. Nanifa for her poster presentation on a review on management and treatment plan for fracture healing in traditional system of medicine in Sri Lanka. Congratulations. Then second place goes to H. G. S. V. Jayasuriya. The topic is pharmacodynamic uh, analysis of the Gopal Guria with special anapana for evaluate in the management of Amla Bidhi. Congratulations. First place goes to Ms. Dilmika, KHS Dilmika, for presentation on survey on traditional recipes for Alhang and standardization of Alhang Thailand. Congratulations for you all. Now, the award is for oral presentation. Third place goes to Ms. MFF Farwin for her presentation on study on the bioavailability enhancers used in urinary formulations in the light of recent pharmacological advances. Congratulations. Second place goes to Ms. Ra S.P. Rajapaksha for her paper on study on psychological influence of Riddhi Yagya, Riddhi Yagya Shanti Karma on subfertility. Congratulations. And uh, first place goes to Ms. Pumika, Ms. Pumika for her systematic review on Ayurveda man management of Samakishwas. I congratulate, congratulate all of you and wish you all for your future success. I thank the organizing committee for providing me this opportunity and thank you all for being in this August gathering till the end. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Professor M. S. M. Chipper, the head of the Department of Study in Junani Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo, for announcing the winners. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations for each and every winner. Although you are not a winner, the winning point is that you have thought what other people have never thought. You were doing what you were not knowing that what you were doing, that is research. So the excellence here today is the results of research that we did yesterday. So ladies and gentlemen, a very big thank you for involving the seventh international conference and a huge congratulations for each and every winner. So each and everyone, let's make this world a better place. So the seventh international conference on Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha and traditional medicine, the first ever virtual conference here conducted by the Institute of Indigenous Medicine. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to conclude the valedictory session. So prior to that, let me invite Dr. A. L. M. Islam, the secretary of the ICOS 2021 to present the board of thanks. Very good evening to one and all. Respected senior professor, Madam Chandrika in Vijayaratne, Vice Chancellor, University of Colombo, and the senior professor, Madam Priyani A. Paranagame, Director, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo, heads of the Department of Studies, Ayurveda and Yunani, distinguished invitees, delegates, scientific paper presenters, and my dear students of Institute of Indigenous Medicine and other institutions, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me an immense pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks in the valedictory session of the seventh international conference on Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha and traditional medicine organized by the Institute of Indigenous Medicine. Let me, first of all, extend my deep sense of appreciation to the chief guest of the IPOS 2021, Senior Professor, Madam Chandrika N. Vijayaratne, Vice Chancellor, University of Colombo, for accepting our invitation to glorify this occasion. 
I am thanking profusely Chief Organizer of the ICOS 2021, Senior Professor Madam Priyani A. Paranagame, Director, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo, for giving the leadership, guidance, and continued support to make this event great success. On behalf of the organizing committee of ICOS 2021 and Institute of Indigenous Medicine, I would like to extend a very hearty word of thanks to all the guests and keynote speakers of the inaugural and scientific sessions who blessed us with their participation via virtual platform and took out valuable type of time of their busy schedule as guest speakers. Padma Sri Vaidya Rajesh Kotecha, Secretary, Ministry of Ayush, Government of India, Professor Anup Thakar, in charge Vice Chancellor, Gujarat Ayurveda University, Director, Institute of Teaching and Research in Ayurveda, Ministry of Ayush, Government of India, Professor Asim Ali Khan, Director General, Central Council for Research in Unani Medicine, Ministry of Ayush, Government of India, Professor N. Kabilan, Head Department of Siddh, Dr. MGR Medical University, Anna Saleh, Chennai, India, and as keynote speakers of various scientific sessions, Professor Y.B. Tripathi, ex-dean, Faculty of Ayurveda, Institute of Medical Sciences, Banaras Hindu University, India, Professor J.S. Tripathi, Department of Kaya Chikitsa, Faculty of Ayurveda, Institute of Medical Sciences, Benares Hindu University, India. Professor F.S. Sharani, Dean, Faculty of Unani Medicine, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh, India. Professor S.M. Arif Zaidi, Dean, School of Unani Medical Education and Research, Jamia Hamdar, New Delhi, India. Professor Sivasankar Rangasamy, Nanda Siddha Medical College and Research Center, Erode, Tamil Nadu, India. Professor Kalpana S. Patel, Head Department of Kaya Chikitsa, in charge, Head Kaya Chikitsa Department, Institute of Teaching and Research in Ayurveda, Gujarat Ayurveda University, Jamnagar, India. Dr. Sukumar Sardeshmukh, Ayurveda Consultant and Trustee, Bharatiya Sanskrit Darshan Trust, Managing Director, Adava Nature Health Care Private Limit, Limited, Maharashtra, India, Associate Professor, Pial Marasinghe, Advisor, UWA Provincial Department of Ayurveda, Dietalava, Sri Lanka, Professor H.M. Senadire, former Commissioner of Ayurveda, Central Province, Professor R.S. Jayavardhana, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo, Sri Lanka. Dr. MCM Mahis, Senior Lecturer, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo, Sri Lanka. And thanks all of you for enlightening us with your inspiring and motivational words. Further, I extend a very hearty word of thanks to all the evaluation panel members of the student forum. Professor Arshia Sultana, Department of Ilmul Kabbalah, Amrade Niswan, National Institute of Unani Medicine, Bangalore, Assistant Professor Sumbul Rahman, Department of Ilmul Lagviya, Aligarh Muslim University, Uttar Pradesh, Assistant Professor Shahid Shah Chaudhary, Department of Ilmul Saidala, School of Unani Medical Education and Research, Jamia Hamdad, New Delhi. Professor R.D.H. Kulatunga, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo. Senior Lecturer, Dr. Mrs. A.W. S. Fauzia, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo. Senior Lecturer, Dr. Mrs. P.R. Varathenna, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo. Senior Lecturer, Dr. T.D.N. Karunaratna, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo. Senior Lecturer, Dr. D.P.A. Disanayake, Institute of Indigenous Medicine, University of Colombo. 
Then I would like to thank both heads of the departments of study, Ayurveda and Yunani, members of academic, administrative, non-academic staff of the Institute of Indigenous Medicine, and all the steering committee and subcommittee members of ICOS 2021 for the guidance and taking the timely action to conduct this operation successfully. Word of thank speech will be incomplete if I fail to thank the head and the staff of the Information and Technology Unit of the Institute of Indigenous Medicine, Dr. S.M.S. Samrakorn, Mr. Lahiru Chamare, Mr. Ruan Kohambakande, Mrs. Nalindra Balasuriya, Mr. Buddhika, Mr. Jay Kodi, for playing a key role from the very beginning and for working around the clock service extended greatly for the success of this conference. And I especially thank our platinum sponsors, Himalaya Drug Manufacturing Company and International Institute of Ceylon Ayurveda for their generous support for the grand success of the conference. And on behalf of organizing committee, I wish them for their future successful all the endeavors. Also, I thank the members of organizing committee of ICOS 2021 for their tiredness efforts for the success of the event. Finally, my sincere thanks to compeers of this event, Natalia Viravardhana, intern medical officer, and Ms. Charita Minipurarachi, BAMS medical student from a very own institute for comparing the event with professional standards. Once again, I thank to all of you and have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Professor Dr. A. L. M. Isam, the Secretary of Southern ICOS 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, now I would address each and every participant as a researcher. You have done systemic planning, you have set time based, and you have realistic objectives. Ladies and gentlemen, a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity, but an oppor optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. So the students who have joined here with us, ladies and gentlemen, have you have seen some speciality. No one, any research here is not complete. So ladies and gentlemen, research is a certain thing that you do, that you try to do when a certain address is incomplete. So you have done your best. You have participated the first ever virtual conference and the seventh edition of ICOS 2021 organized by the Institute of Indigenous Medicine. Let's learn from our failures. It's what the future ambition of us should be. Ladies and gentlemen, the seventh ICOS of the e-abstract book and the e-certificate will be emailed to each and every one of you. So, this is the valedictory session and we have stepped to the end. This is not the full stop that we are keeping for the ICOS history. Please a command, we'll move to the 2022 8th ICOS soon. Even with adopting to the new normal, we have conducted the seventh edition successfully. A big thank you for chief organizer and the organizing committee and special thank you for the Institute of Indigenous Medicine celebrating the 92nd anniversary here, coincidence with the 7th I course, ladies and gentlemen. We have conducted yesterday's the inaugural session, the scientific sessions today morning, and we have winding the session with the valedictory session for the 7th I course. Ladies and gentlemen, a big thank you for each and every one of you for joining with us. Thank you very much. And we'll respect the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka paying to the national anthem. Thank you all, thank you very much.